Hey, it's Jared. In this video, I wanted to talk about how to remove a Google My Business listing. Now, if there's a Google My Business listing that shows up in Google Maps and Google Search that you want to get rid of completely, Google gives you one way to do that. Now, you have to have claimed this business listing, which means you have to have it in your Google My Business account. So that means going through the process of verifying that you are the business owner or a representative of the business and walking through that process. I may talk about that in another video, but I'll provide a link down below from Google on how to verify that business listing. So you have to have ownership of this listing in order to do what I'm going to explain. Now, Google gives you one way to remove a business, and that is to mark it as permanently closed. And while if your business is closed, it is a good option to mark it as permanently closed. But if you have a duplicate listing, or you're changing something about your listing or your business online, and you flat out need to get rid of this listing altogether, the process of marking it as closed may send the wrong message to your customers uh, thinking that maybe your business is closed. I've had this happen many times in the recent years where a business ends up having two listings, even at almost the same address. Maybe they moved suite numbers or something like that and somebody set up a second listing for them instead of editing the first one. A lot of times you end up in situations like that and you don't want people to find one that says business permit permanently closed for however long Google decides to leave it up. Google doesn't say how long they're going to leave a listing up that says permanently closed. So in order to get rid of a listing altogether, you first have to have claimed that listing and have it in your Google My Business account. Next, you can go and make changes to the information that is on that account. The first thing that I recommend doing is removing the address altogether. There are two ways that you can have addresses listed in a Google My Business. You can have the physical address listed or you can have your business set as a service area business, which means it doesn't have a, a, a local address that people go to. You instead serve people within a, a vicinity of usually a city and a state, and so you can set that up. So what I usually do in this instance is I go and delete the address and I add the service area of somewhere else. Usually I just leave it set to the United States, but sometimes I will even change it if I need the change to, to happen immediately, I will change it to a completely different city or state. But usually that ends up getting the listing uh, uh, deactivated somehow, and then that process can take longer to completely get rid of the listing altogether. So what I do recommend is just deleting the address and letting the service area kind of default to the United States or whatever country that you're in. After that, I will go and remove the phone number and I will change the website address. Usually it gives me a hard time when I try to delete both of them. I have to have one or the other. So it's harder to confirm a phone number that you don't have. So I usually delete the phone number and I put in some web address uh, like www.notarealwebsite.com or something like that just to have something to put there because Google My Business doesn't actually have you verify your website address so you can put something in there to fill its place. Next I'll go through and change the name of the business. Uh, I'll either delete it and add something completely obscure or I'll even put something like duplicate business LLC or something like that. Something that changes the title of the business altogether so that if somebody goes and searches for that business by its business name, this listing is no longer going to show up. Now, I did this as recent as uh, the day before filming this video, so it's very fresh in my mind. I had a business that had a Google My Business listing in an old location, but it was close enough that sometimes Google would get confused and display this business listing uh, when somebody was searching for where they're actually listed. It was just a neighboring town, but they're small towns, and it was easy for both listings sometimes to show up depending on how somebody typed in the business name. So I went and deleted the address, leaving only a service area. I changed the business name, and I got rid of the, uh, the phone number off of there, and within a half hour, that was no longer showing up. 
Now, uh, there was a little bit of lingering. I could change some, some verbiage and, and what I was searching for, and that would still come up, but the business name would be incorrect, and I was fine with that. Now, of course, the next day, I can't find that listing at all, no matter how hard I try, and within a couple more days, I'm just flat out gonna remove it from my Google My Business account altogether. So this has been uh, maybe not the best way for Google, because you know, you're know you basically giving Google information that's not correct, but the chances are that this business is not going to be able to be verified. It is marked as closed, and so I do mark it as a closed business. So within the normal time frame that Google would remove a business that was recently marked as permanently closed, you know, it would remove that listing anyway. So I don't feel bad giving Google information that's not totally true because the business is marked closed and it's gonna fall off eventually anyways. So I'm making this video because for a lot of you, you either have a business or you manage marketing for a business that has a mess of Google uh, listings and stuff out there and you need a fast way to take care of this. It's also very impressive to the clients when you're able to take care of this really fast and it's something that's been lingering on for them for months, maybe, even years. So use this uh, wisely. Don't take advantage of the fact that Google sometimes will allow you just to rename things even though you you it's not real names um, and it will apply those changes. Uh, it is a way to get rid of something faster. The only way that Google uh, says that is uh, to get rid of a listing though is to mark it as permanently closed and then wait for that uh, business listing to just completely fall off of Google. But for some of our businesses or even some of our clients in my case, I simply can't wait that long. So I hope that this video helped you out in trying to manage getting rid of Google business listings a little early, a little faster than Google might allow for. It definitely is not the option you need to choose. If you did in fact close a business, you want to notify people that that business is closed. You want to give them the message that that business is no longer active, but in the instance where it could create confusion, this is another option for getting those Google business listings updated. I don't know how long this is going to work before Google starts to kind of crack down maybe on things like this. Maybe they won't because we are making that business permanently closed. We are listing that as permanently closed, which means the information doesn't really matter anymore but Google does change things from time to time. So I hope you found this interesting. If you did, give the video a thumbs up, share it with somebody that you think might find this interesting, and I hope to see you back in the next one. So make sure to click that subscribe button. Take care.